everybody and welcome back to the girly girl bookworm so today I have a weekly wrap up for you two videos in a row that's four I always do that two videos in a row I'm getting back into the swing of things finally it's taken me weeks but I think I'm finally there and it's Monday and I'm actually filming a video on the right day which makes me so super pumped so here's my weekly wrap up for you the first book that I read this week was The Nightmare Affair by Mindy Arnett. Um, I went into this book thinking it was a standalone novel. It's actually a trilogy, which is kind of annoying when I like was expecting like an actual ending. And when I went to go enter it in on Goodreads, it said like the like the nightmare affair and then it like had the one next to it and I was like, no. So I looked it up. The second book, it's already out. And the third book hasn't come out yet, so I'm not too far behind, but it was just kind of annoying. Um, I gave this book four stars. Um, this is my last creepy read for October um, because I just can't handle creepy reads anymore. I've been getting a lot of nightmares this month, and I don't know if it's because of the books or if it's just my brain is being weird. But this is about a girl. She is a nightmare. Literally, like, she has this... Like, she's in this world where there's, like, different things, like, there's witches and whatever, but she is a nightmare, which means, like, she gets this, like, urge to, like, go to places, and, um, because it's, like, the will, and so she goes, and, like, she ends up, like, laying on, like, not laying, but, like, kneeling on top of somebody and putting their hand, her hand, like, on their head, and she pretty much feeds off of their dreams, which kind of gives them nightmares, so she is literally, like, a nightmare. And, like, weird stuff is going around this school, and she's, try like, there's murders happening. And while she's in one of those dreams, she kind of sees the murder happen. So she is trying to find this murderer, pretty much. So it was really good. I gave it four stars. It's just it wasn't something that I loved. Um, I thought it was good. It's just I didn't love it. I don't know what there was about it. It was just something that I didn't 100% love. Will I continue on with the series? Probably, if I could get it cheap enough, but that's that book. Then, because I finally just wanted to get this series over with, I read Light by Michael Grant. This is the sixth and final book in the Gone series. Yes, I did it. I made it. I don't know how I made it. Didn't really like Gone, and then it kind of was like a hit or miss between the rest of the books. I actually get this four stars. This has been like the month of four stars. If you like look at my Goodreads, almost every book I read this month got four stars. But um, I actually enjoyed this one. I was happy to finally see an end and it actually like kind of flowed and it kind of went pretty fast, especially for a 411 page book. But I actually liked how he wrapped it up and it ended. It was really interesting and... Yeah, I actually liked it, which was surprising. So, finally, this six-book series is done. I did it. I did it. I will never probably reread it again, but I can at least say I read it the one time, which is nice. And then I thought I bought all those books really, really cheap, too, which is nice. Then I read What the Spell by Brittany Gerg... Whatever her name is here. See it? So... I read this thinking it's the first book because it's called What the Spell, and I just thought it was, and um, I was on Goodreads, and it said that it was book one, so I read it, and I finished the end, and I was like, oh, it kind of had a cliffhanger, thank God I have book two and book three, so I'm just going to really be good with this series, and <laughs> it's not, it's the prequel slash spinoff. Which is irritating because usually if it's a spinoff, it would have a different series name, which it didn't. And then it should have been a point five instead of one on Goodreads. And I found out because I went to go look at the next book, which was Life's a Witch. And um, there was a whole different character name. And I was like, what's going on? So I went on the author's website. This is the prequel slash spinoff. So I read it out of order, which is kind of annoying because now I kind of don't want to pick up the rest of the series right away because now I'm just, like, annoyed. 
Um, it was still good. Again, I gave this one three stars. Um, it's about this girl, um, I'm forgetting her name. Bethany? No, Brooklyn. She is 16 years old and she is a witch. And she is just coming into her powers because her parents have founded it um, until she was 16. She was really unpopular in high school. Really, really unpopular. So she's like, finally, like, I've got this magic. I'm going to make myself popular. I want to be part of the elite. And the elite is, like, the mean girls group of high school. So this kind of reminded me of Mean Girls slash, like, if you're, like, from the 90s when I was around. Teen Witch was a movie where, like, a girl finds out she's a witch and then she tries to become popular. That's what this one made me think of. But she's kind of annoying as she makes stupid decision after stupid decision after stupid decision, and I'm like, what are you doing, girl? And she talks like a high schooler, which is fine, because that's what high schoolers do, but for me being, like, 24, out of college, I've got my master's degree, I don't like hearing that she's like, yeah, I'm gonna go meet the fam. And I'm like, no, it's family. Like, you could say it. Like, so little things like that kind of bothered me. But it was fun. I did like it. I was going to continue on the series until I realized it wasn't a continuation. So I don't know what to think of this now. But I gave it three stars. I'm not immediately jumping into the other series. But it was still pretty good. And I will get to them probably next month. I just need to, like, one book break maybe. And then maybe I'll jump into it. I don't know. But yeah. Those are the three books that I read this week. I just started The Hero's Guide to Being an Outlaw, which is exciting because that's the third and final book in a trilogy as well, so I'm just going crazy. Sorry, the sun is, like, setting, I guess. It's, like, 341, so the sun is being weird. So if the lighting changes in this 